I always said it was zero. Uh, Nico has been a top player without a top character. Yeah, and he was playing Smash 4 Shulk as well. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, oh, you know god. what, man? Nico has been at the top for a quite time. AC. AC. Yeah. We talked about Brawl, right? And some hard matchups earlier. Definitely AC is no slouch. Meaning, um, Snake all the way back in Brawl. Honestly, and to see him still come out here and be one of the few Brawl vets, definitely also adopting Snake. Because, you know, they, they missed the whole <laughs> playing field. Yo, that crown hitting kind of different on this Snake here. Snake. Ooh, Snake kind of... What does Snake do in this match? Actually, <laughs> what does he do against uh, K. Roll? Honestly, the, the one thing that like a Snake is able to dominate over K. Roll is the ability to have a lot of multiple options, so of course K. Roll to come into his option. A really good opportunity for him to use the grenade pull and then hold shield, wait for the explosion, because that explosion will definitely keep K. Roll away from him. Now AC's kind of adjusted himself to how Tropical got the early stock. He's been 15% untouched. For yeah, for for about 30 30 some seconds here, Tropical. Oh, so that's cool. really, really smart how AC's playing that. He's using the, the actual platform to send the grenade towards Tropical. That's a well-mounted play here. Actually, I uh, wasn't noticing that until you pointed it out there. And yeah, like that up tilt going to catch him on that down air there. Very nice, just resetting the, uh, the C4 on the middle of the platform there. Yeah, and you asked me earlier, like, how does Snake approach this matchup too? Snake has a plethora of tools by using grenade. And honestly, the way that he's able to understand, okay, Tropical loves to be coming in with these aerials. My up tilt is an anti-air, and at that high percent, that's a stock. So at that point, the, the damage begins to slowly chip with each grenade is playing. But the way that AC is playing, that stock, that damage is going to mount to a full stock. Great use of forward tilt here. Yeah, and as, uh, as we were saying before, uh, the zoners are get, becoming more prominent in the meta. Snake is one of the best zoners in the game, in my opinion. Here. Yeah. And he's just, AC's just showing it, doing really well on these ledge traps here. And Tropical still has yet to find an answer. This up smash is going to catch him again, throwing out two just in case he went past one. Nice. And even though he got hit, the napalm will come back down as a hitbox. One more time. I mean, AC's is pretty much uh, showing us a great time of how to use. Uh, up smash, sorry, down smash as an opportunity to stop K Roll. This yeah. shows the shortcomings of K Roll. But yeah. I would have loved to have seen K Roll, I'm sorry, drop out gold for like a different recovery. Oh, that was a really good use of direction air dodge. Yeah, it seemed it seemed like um, he, had, he had the plan. He was just a little bit slow on the execution there. It was a really good trap for uh, against AC though, but that blunderbuss is going to send him back off stage. Cannonball going to catch him on. Ooh, almost got him smart. with a helicopter. But the, too. Big, the big problem there with the helicopter though is that. The damage base armor that Cypher has was not going to be enough on the helicopter. Yeah, yeah, it is about seven percent. So you have to make sure you're hitting one hit seven percent or a consistent seven percent hit. It cannot be multiple hits that come out to seven percent. Oh, that's actually really interesting. Uh, that Tropical didn't opt to go for an up tilt just in case. Uh, got hit by his grenade into the cannonball there. Very nice patience from Tropical actually. Hey, he has to play this. A little bit more pristine than he has before. Trying, trying to stop throwing out these hitboxes on Snake's shield. As you know, Snake's loves to hold that shield when they have grenade in hand. Mm -hmm. Also, frame one pulls. Yeah, and that's just the way Ace is playing on this. Okay, if Tropical's gonna be close quarters combat here, my grenade pull is pretty much gonna be a shield break option, uh, where I can get my opponent off me. Or if it comes down to it, I'm gonna go for an out of shield option, such as narrow down air. Yeah, and Ace is doing really well at controlling, like half of the stage that he wants to, and. A lot of these items that Tropical has been throwing out had not been working until that last interaction there. He has him off stage with a blunderbuss. He's going to try to catch him with a helicopter, and he does get it! Oh, oh my god, god, he got him with the very end of the cypher! Pop -off. You know what's funny is that I actually didn't even know. The, you know what it is? It's the fact that he still takes a hit even though the cypher has intangibility yeah. and armor. You still take the hit, and it's going to send him up by just so slightly that it'll send him up into the blast zone. AC, you know what? He kind of shrugs it off. He's like, all right, kid, you got some sauce. You got some sauce. I'll give it to you. Yeah, I, you, you got it this time, but yeah. not, not next time. I got you. I yeah. got your number. He got the cheetah skin on. He's ready. Yeah, most definitely. What I'm really interested to see is we're going to Genesis. We do have Rody here from Chile, and, of course, Key also in attendance. What I'm really interested to see, a lot of Omar from the Dominican Republic attending Genesis. So I'm really interested in seeing a lot of snakes participating in Genesis. Uh, we saw Shogun at Congo Saga show us oh, such yeah. a tremendous play over Samsora, and that's what I'm looking forward to see in, from Snake and Genesis. The amount of different play styles each Snake main has. But we'll see what AC can do against Tropical here. Of course, Tropical, uh, no slouch. He has participated at several tournaments. I know he recently was at World's Collide Wednesdays. This past Wednesday, he uh, was able to at least get a little top eight. 
Yeah, and uh, you were saying about these uh, different snake styles here. AC is one of those snakes that likes to hold back and wait. Um, and Kia is one of those snakes that loves their movement. Use their movement mm -hmm. options along with the grenade here. And AC, again, throwing out the Nikita. Just waiting for Tropical to come up after him again. This time, like, covering his option if he tries to go high. Yeah, really good opportunity. He knew that percent or which the down throw would work. All right, just going to roll off the ledge. As Grenade goes off, that's really good patience from AC here. Throwing nice. off another C4 onto the platform there. It's good, too, because he immediately got rid of the C4. He knows, you know what, it's not worth it being on this end of the stage. Double parry here. AC going to make sure he's really cautious by getting up here because he knows. Actually, I'm su not surprised that AC knows when to get up because he does live in uh, close to San Diego where he has been able to play against Fallen. He does. And I don't. And I don't, yeah, of course. I, say. I don't, of course, has used Cable before. Yeah, and here again, throwing out these grenades and these C4s, just making sure that Tropical doesn't get as, as close to him as he wants to be. Right here, throwing, uh, doing a B reverse grenade here, but gets armored on as the grenade explodes. All right, Tropical backing off again, throwing out another cannonball. I've been seeing this whole game that cannonball doesn't activate grenade, actually. Yeah, it's kind of, it's the solid, it starts off as a solid hit. I'll, the only thing that would activate grenade would be probably an explosion. But the way that Blunderbuss works here on the cannonball doesn't seem to be doing the trick here. But the one thing I'm liking that AC does, get the portal off the of stage here. AC is really smart with the timing on the grenade cook. So he's kind of been mixing up here and there. Oh, he went for the chase that he says, if you want to go low, my Nikita can go just as low as you can. Yeah, Tropical trying to hit the Nikita with the upper to try and get it off of him, but almost lost the stock for it as well. Oh, that was close. That dash tag almost sent AC right into the cannonball itself. Yeah. And here up tilt, man, Tropical popping out of C, he knows I got this man at 104%. If I get something here, man, I can definitely bring it close as it was last game. Yeah, and he can't be too antsy this time as well. Um, using that double jump to try and get to AC there when AC has adapted his recovery abilities is a little bit too oh, antsy for that Tropical. Was, that was so smart because he waited for Tropical to come in closer and he saw the armor and then AC decided to make a move afterwards. Yeah, it decided to actually move behind him before he started to set up again. Yeah. And it's the way that he's using grenades to kind of cover up his movements. He's already got trouble. I mentioned how that damage when I'm about to something here. He already has Tropical at 105. Tropical pretty much, he knows I got this man at even stock. If I could pull it off how I had it last game, I could definitely make the crowd pop off alongside me. I wonder what Tropical, um, what's making Tropical instead opt for up smash beside, uh, instead of uh, up tilt when it comes to the debris. It's the fact that if he, if he understands the way that AC is mashing, and AC goes for a jump out of the mash, and you pop upwards from being grounded, the up smash will be able to reach on you. Okay. So that's literally what he's looking for, is that extra bit of range when my, when my opponent does mash. Of course, AC, no slouch, able to take that game too. Yeah, I got him on the setup on the ledges again with a Nikita right yeah. there. And I didn't get to mention on my last tangent here, when you mash out, sometimes there's such a thing as the no mash out mix up, mm -hmm. where you just don't mash, and then your opponent just looks like an idiot for going for an up smash. <laughs> and you're like, well, I didn't mash, sorry, bro, but that was a nice attempt. But yeah, in, but in that situation, I feel like the up smash would have hit, he was right on top of him as well. Yeah. He moved a little bit forward just in case. Also, Snake, he's kind of a tall man. I'm not gonna lie, that man isn't short. And that, that up smash might have been able to hit him. Yeah, and just slowly approaching onto Tropical with the back turn as the grenade pop, uh, pops up and then blows up the other grenade. That was actually really smart, just in case Tropical decided to come up with an up air. Oh, I didn't love that play, because he said you can hold my grenade, man, but you got to hold these hits alongside it. Yeah, throwing out those thighs, though. That man has leg day workouts every day, up tilt, and up, I'm sorry, up air, sent this man off the stage. All right, almost rolling into the cannonball, just a little bit short off his head. Going to go with a down. More tilt? Yep. Yeah. That's the one thing I like about each snake, right? They all have their own little quirks here, and AC knows, you know what? This is the percent where I can get forward tilt. This is the prime opportunity. Back air coming out from Tropical. He's got AC pushing a little bit in the corner. If I want to say there's going to be robbery here, it could be coming from Tropical. But that forward air is not enough to do it, even though it does send him away from the side. Oh. That forward smash will land the hit. AC shrugs that off here. He knows he's got Tropical at 164. And an anti-air up tilt, he knows my man is jumping from that disadvantage. Yeah, and with frame three, uh, frame three jump squads, uh, a lot of people just love to jump to get out of bad situations. And right there, AC displayed his knowledge of the game, just getting him on the jump there. All right, double dash attack there. And he's gonna get hit with the back air as his his uh, napalm misses. All right, drops the grenade right in front of him, holds the shield, forces him to hold shield, and rolls behind the blunderbuss. That was really smart from AC, just throwing out all these all these projectiles to make Tropical respect him. I'm gonna go low one more time. 
Oh, that was a good use of down smash, but he doesn't get it. He's gonna have this man grounded. There's a reason why I mentioned why he likes to go for up smash. AC scratching the head, man. I don't know, man. The crowd is definitely rooting for Tropical, and Tropical wants that pop up and that W. AC is definitely San Diego's finest, but you know he's not gonna go down without a fight. I love that jumping. That hit? <laughs> and that kill? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not surprised about the kill. I'm surprised about the hit. Because <laughs> I thought that hit his armor of, of the F tilt. Like, if anything, it was going to hit. It probably would have hit the armor, but it didn't seem that way. Ooh, gets him back off stage with the boxing glove. Blunderbuss cannonball up. Is he going to go with the drag? Oh, he doesn't go for the grab there. All right, try to read a jump there with the up air. AC has to be cautious here. He's always going to say he's on the center platform. k Rold is able to reach on those. All right, oh, he tried to get the parry. And the tropical, oh, could this be it? And oh. he reached the jump out. And the pop-off from Tropical he out here taking the upset of the night. All right, that was really good uh, adaptation from Tropical there. He he started using his armor a little bit more on mm -hmm. the grenades.